The Caribbean islands are united by our music and our cultural influences. We don't try to fit into a category, but rather we use our unique experience to create our own, to move with rhythm, whether we're on the road, in the fet, or on the world stage. Jamaican Trinidadian songstress Sezai shares her musical perspective with us. My name is Sezai, and I'm a recording artist, um, performance artist and I have been um, doing my live music in Kingston, Jamaica mostly. I'm Trini and Jamaican, Jamaica by birth, Trinidadian by growing up. <laughs> and um, my style is, I, I, I'd like to say that I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to follow torch singing kind of vibe, which just lends itself to emotion and telling of a story and telling it with, you know, real conviction. Um, very believable, you know. So even if you even if it's not my story, you're gonna think it's my story. It's clear to see I'm not the center of your attention. My music goes from reggae to rock to like a slow pop to um I don't know, maybe a little bit of a soca calypso vibe sometimes. My EP is called Slow Burn and I have four songs on it. Um which are like a complete mix up, mash up and blend of, of vibes. And it's available on my website, sezaisi.com. One of the greatest Jamaican influences in my music is reggae. Old school reggae, new school reggae. Um, I mean, even to go back as far as ska, you know, that kind of sound has been very influential to me. I don't think it's hard for Caribbean artists to fit into a genre. I think it's um, a real plus and positive that you don't know where to put us. I mean, Rihanna's a perfect example of that. The more music she makes, is the more she's going back to her roots, but she's already captivated an audience who are listening to um, reggae that's being influenced by Dennis Brown, you know, because that's the stuff that she's listening to as well, as well as we are, but we've also been listening to stuff from the 90s, from the 80s, like uh, Foreigner. You know what I mean? Like those white guys from the States, who are they? Who knows? But we've been, I mean, we can sing their songs. And uh, this is the type of music we've been listening to, mixed with dancehall, mixed with soca, mixed with calypso, um, mixed with reggae. But sometimes I think it's a positive for us because we can start kind of like pushing those boundaries of just making world music because we've been so influenced by the music of the world. The most powerful influence for me from Trinidad has been, uh, I guess, old 80s and 90s pop. Um, as well as, I really love old school Calypso. Carnival influences Trinidadian music with its completely through the roof, sky high energy. You know? If you're in a pan, you know, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, you just have to kind of jump up and down and move. You know, it's not like, you're not like, Rock and Kameen, you know, it's it's um it's definitely just sends the energy sky high. Um, so I think that a lot of music, a lot of soca music, um, and even Calypso, the energy of it, the energy of it is is you know it gets people excited, it gets people really really you know turn up. <laughs> uh, soca and reggae for me, meeting in the middle with a little bit of uh, dance and, and rock and roll. So I created Million Eyes, and Million Eyes on Sober and definitely has, you could definitely bust a little wine, it definitely has a, a little soca beat to it, you know? But it sounds like a dance song, but it was produced by, you know, the bass line was from like dance hall, you know? Doom, do, do. I mean, it's, it's definitely a mix up. Um, so I guess Million Eyes would be a good mashup. Uh, where soca and reggae and a little bit of rock and roll and dance all meet. Still to come on Island Exclusive. Oh, yeah.